Hello everyone! Welcome to this video lesson. Stay tuned and you will learn mathematics in just few minutes. In this lesson, we are going to test the significance of the Pearson's R. To do this, let us recall and use the problem we had in the previous video lesson. If you haven't watched the video yet, you may click the link in the description below. Let's begin! Here is the sample problem. The table shows the scores obtained by a student in 5 consecutive quizzes in mathematics and English. Test the significance of the correlation coefficient at 0.05 level of significance. First, compute for the value of R using this formula. And the computed value is R is equal to negative 0.65. Now we will test the significance of R using the following steps. First, state the null and alternative hypothesis. Second, identify the type of test, degree of freedom, and the critical value at a specified level of significance. Third, compute the test value using the test statistic or formula. Fourth, Decide whether to accept or reject the null hypothesis. And fifth, make a conclusion. Let's do step number one. State the null and alternative hypothesis. Since we are testing the relationship between the scores in math and the scores in English, then the hypothesis will be stated in this way. Null hypothesis are h sub 0. There is no significant relationship between the scores in mathematics and the scores in English. In symbols, we have h sub o, where r is equal to 0. 0 indicates that there is no significance between the two variables. Alternative hypothesis, or h sub a. There is a significant relationship between the scores in mathematics and the scores in English. Since there is a significance between the two variables, then it must not be equal to zero. Step number two, identify the type of test. To do that, look at the alternative hypothesis. It uses the symbol not equal to. Therefore, it is two-tailed. Identify the degree of freedom. The degree of freedom is equal to n minus 2. n is equal to 5. Therefore, df is equal to 3. And lastly, determine the critical value. This time, we will be using the t-table. All you have to do is to look at the degree of freedom and the level of significance. Based from the given problem, the level of significance is 0.05 and the computed degree of freedom is 3. So the critical value is 3.182. Take note that the test is a two-tailed test. Hence, the critical values are positive or negative 3.182. Step number 3. Compute the test value. Given the formula, substitute the values of n and r. So we have, then simplify, step number 4, decide whether the null hypothesis is accepted or rejected. Compare the test value, RT value, and the critical value. Since the absolute value of the computed p-value is less than the absolute value of the critical value, therefore, the null hypothesis is accepted. And step number 5, make a conclusion. Since there is no significant relationship between the scores in mathematics and the scores in English, then we can say that there is no sufficient evidence that there is a significant relationship between the scores in mathematics and the scores in English.